okay let's now go ahead and implement the search functionality and before actually implementing this in our code editor let's talk about the flow let's discuss how we will be implementing this and then we will go ahead and actually implement it so as you can see in here we have this input field for searching the data and we will be defining a variable and we will be binding that accordingly to this field and whenever the user types into this field we will be keeping track of that variable and building up a url and whenever that url changes we will programmatically visit that page using the router dot visit which we have talked about a lot in the previous section as well so let's say a user types something like some data then we want to visit a url in the browser based on the value that the user types in here so let's say if the user types some data in this field then we want to pass that into our url with the key as search and the value would be some data and we will be implementing this on our backend accordingly where we will grab the term by the search value and then we will filter that data accordingly on our backend so yeah this is the general idea and let's now go ahead and work on this so let's open up our code editor and let's start by defining a variable to keep track of the user entered value so we can do that over here so let's define a new search and we will be using a reference to define an empty string and we also need to import this ref from view so let's go ahead and do that import ref from view and let's go ahead and bind this accordingly into our input field so we have that over here so let's we model this to our search variable and if we now go ahead and reload so here we have the index and we have defined the search which is a ref and if we go ahead and type something in here okay that is not working so what's happening in here we don't have any errors and this is not reflected accordingly so i think there's probably some issues in here so let's try to display that over here just to make sure that this is working let's try to pass some data then as you can see this has been reflected over here so yeah this is working so now what we can do is we can build up a variable based on the search term and whenever that variable changes we will be manually visiting that page and we also need to implement this on our backend but first let's go ahead and implement this in our front end and the backend stuff is really easy once we figure out the front end stuff so again let's define a new variable and i'm going to name this as students url which is going to be a computer property and we will be computing this based on multiple factors like in this case we will be computing that based on the page number and the search term so let's go ahead and define this and you will be passing this inside a closure and here we can define this url variable and we will be passing this new url object which is a javascript function and we are passing the students dot index route to this which is again going to be built up based on the app url that we have configured in our environment so yeah based on the app url that we have in here we will be building that up accordingly and whenever the search input changes which is this value then we will go ahead and compute the students url accordingly based on the search value so here we can check if the search dot value has a certain value then we will just go ahead and append the search value into the url and we can do that by passing the url dot search params dot append and the key in this case is going to be search and the value will be whatever value we get from our ref that is this defined in here and along with this i also want to pass the page number because 
currently we have not passed that so whenever we perform any search operations we just want to reset the page to the first page because let's say if a user is on the fifth page and when they try to perform some search then there might be cases where only a few number of data is returned for that keyword so in that case the user will still stay on the fifth page and they won't be able to view that data so whenever they perform any search we just want to navigate to the first page and we want to show the results by resetting the pagination so let's go ahead and define one more variable in here and instead of defining multiple lets what we can do here is we can define one more variable like this and this is again will be a ref and this is going to have an initial value of one and here again we can append the search params by passing the page key and the value in this case will be page number dot value so now if we go ahead and try to debug our students url then that should be built up accordingly and we can do that on our view dev tools but we have some errors so let's try to understand what's happening in here let's see what's the error and we can do that on our console so computer is not defined so let's go ahead and import that from the view package so let's do that and if we go ahead and reload okay that works so let's open up the view dev tools and here we have the index and we have some computed data that we defined so we have the props we have the setup and we have the attributes in the setup other okay so we don't have that and i don't know whether we can debug that or not so i'll just go ahead and try to open this up again i'll just close it and try to open that up and let's navigate to the view dev tools let's open up our index and okay we have the students url which is undefined and is a computed value but why is it undefined initially so this is a computed value and we have a url okay we need to return the url otherwise it won't work so let's save that okay this is a type of url as you can see but if i go ahead and type something in here okay the search value has been reflected but this is not showing that change probably because this is a type of url so what we can do here is we can watch for the student's url and whenever that changes we can make a visit to that specific url and that is gonna basically visit that url so let's go ahead and do that so here let's introduce watch and let's pass a callback and we want to watch for the students url so let's pass that and since this is a computed property we need to pass the value as well and the second argument that we can pass over here is the new value that we get so let's pass that and whenever the value of the students url changes we just want to go ahead and perform some operations in here but first let's try to debug this i'll just go ahead and pass a console.log just to see that this thing is working so let's go ahead and again open up the console and we have some errors again we need to import the watch from the view package so let's do that and let's reload it once so let's say if i type something in here and then as you can see whenever i type something the url is being built accordingly and okay let's try to look into the latest url then as you can see we have the href value as inertia view students management dot test the route is students the page is one and the search value has been set accordingly and the value in this case is sum so based on the value that we have typed over here the url is being built accordingly and now the only thing remaining here is to programmatically visit this page and this will set the url in our browser accordingly and then we can implement that on our backend so yeah that is a really simple task to implement it in our backend the only tricky part is to implement this in our front end so yeah let's now go ahead and visit this specific url that we have over here 
and we can easily do that using router dot visit so let's visit this new value and instead of new value i think we can name this as new students url or updated students url okay i think updated students url sounds better so let's go ahead and do that and along with this i also want to pass a few options so let's go ahead and do that so i want to preserve the scrolling behavior and i also want to preserve the state so let's go ahead and pass that as well preserve state to true and i think the router is not imported so let's go ahead and import that from the inertia.js view 3 package and yeah let's go ahead and give this a try so i'll just reload and we are currently on page 5 so let's navigate to page 1 and let's try to search some data so i'll just pass some in here then as you can see the url is updated accordingly so as soon as i type something the url takes that change and our inertia visits that route so yeah this thing is working and there's one more issue in here as you can see as i try to navigate between the previous states then as you can see all the states are being navigated so we can remove that behavior by passing the replace option so let's go ahead and do that and now this is going to replace the history and yeah that won't be tracked in the browser so again let's try to reload and let's just open up the students page and if i go ahead and type sum and the previous state of this current state is the students route so if i navigate to the previous state then as you can see all the search term is now reset and the replace state is applied which is going to prevent keeping track of the history so yeah this thing is working and the only thing remaining now is to implement this on our backend so let's open up the students controller and on our index we are passing the students data so the only thing remaining here is to filter the students data by the search term that we get in our index space so let's go ahead and pass the request class in here and we are passing the collection of all the students currently but we want to filter that accordingly so what we can do here is we can define a new student query and you might have a case where you need to implement other queries as well so what i will do is i'll go ahead and define a dedicated function for each method and that way we can easily chain multiple filters so let's define a new method over here i'll name this as apply search and if you have any other filters then you can define more methods like these and you can chain them on our controller so since we only want our controller to access this method so i'll go ahead and pass a protected access modifier and we will be receiving the query in this case and we will also receive the search term that the user types so here we can just return the query and we only want to search if the search input is present and we can do that by passing when so if this value is present then we want to perform this query and we need to pass some additional data to this so yeah if the search value is present then we want to perform this query where the name is like this search query and you can go ahead and search for multiple columns and for this case i'm just searching for the name column and yeah, this should give you an idea about how we can perform search in our models and now we can just go ahead and apply that query by calling this apply search and we need to pass the student's query as the first parameter and the second parameter in this case is the search term and we can now go ahead and just paginate this student's query instead of grabbing all the data from the database so let's go ahead and do that so we have the student's query and now we can call paginate on that record and here yeah, this should now work so let's go ahead and give this a try
I'll just go ahead and reload and let's try to search by this Benedict name. So if I go ahead and type Benny, then as you can see, this is filtering the data by this name and we are only searching for the name column in this case. And you can go ahead and implement multi-column searching, which is really easy now because we are defining dedicated methods for implementing different types of filters. And I think in Laravel version 11, we can call where all, I think, or yeah, based on your needs, you can go ahead and do that. I don't exactly remember the syntax, but if you want to search for multiple columns, we can chain or where. I'm sure this is going to work. So if you want to search for email, then you can pass or where with the value of the column, like this search term, and yeah, this should work. So everything is working and let's try to search by email. So we have an email of Mali16. So let's search for that. And as you can see, the email with this value is being returned. So this is working. And one last thing that I want to implement here is let's say uh, we have some values that is set already in our URL. And okay, let's try to search for data in here. And if I go ahead and let's say, open or reload this page then as you can see the value is retained in the browser's address bar but that is not retained in here so yeah i just want to go ahead and implement this and we can easily fix this by passing the search value as a prop to our view component and we can pass that as a default value to this search term and that is going to populate that accordingly so let's say we have some data in here initially and if we go ahead and reload then as you can see this is being populated accordingly in here so we just need to pass that value from our address bar to our view component and we can do that by passing that as a prop so here we can pass this search value by grabbing that from the request class and if there's no value then we can pass an empty string and yeah, this should fix that so we are passing this search by grabbing that from our request and this is now passed as a prop and we can receive that on our index component and we are going to pass that over here and we can again use the use page to grab that value so use page dot props dot search and yeah let's go ahead and pass that okay we have some errors so we need to import use page from the inertia view 3 package so let's go ahead and do that and if we reload then as you can see on the address bar we have the search as sum and that is being populated accordingly in here so let's say if i pass something else let's say i'll pass mali and that should be retained in here as well and now even if you reload, then the search filter is applied accordingly. So yeah, we have finally implemented the search functionality. And along with that, I think we have also implemented paginations. So as you can see, we are currently searching for this M keyword and we are getting around, okay, we have all the records being passed to us. As you can see, 100 results are being passed. But instead of that, let's try to search by something specific so i'll try to search for doctor and okay we have 15 results so if i navigate to the second page then as you can see the search is now lost so yeah we need a way to retain that and we will be fixing this in the upcoming video